2030, I think uh, India is eyeing a huge number of women in uh, armed forces. Yes. As yes. You, we all are aware that women are already participating in the other uh, security services like police and BSF and other uh, Tibetan police also. They are everywhere. In, uh, women are already participating in huge numbers. Right. But this right. was the only gray area which was left. And I think now, since uh, the doors are open, I must say Colonel Piyush is doing extraordinary work by creating and developing and training all these uh, young aspirants to enter into defense forces. And he is an icon in Kota who has been establishing this particular field. Now, what I mean to say is that I think in coming years, if Colonel Piyush, I'll request you if you can arrange few workshops for uh, students in schools. We can, I being president of CBSC schools in Kota, as well as I've got a lot of um, contacts in Rajasthan itself as and in uh, throughout the country also. I can even request CBSC to induct some of the course of this nature. So we can have some joint sessions and joint uh, workshops where we can really promote and encourage girl students to enter into, because this is such a vast field and girls can very easily enter into it. As far as uh, uh, school students are considered, they just need awareness. Right. They are not aware as to what facilities they will be getting, which rank they will be getting later on, and whether they will be able to complete their um, army service after marriage also. Right. All these right. things, all questions are there in front of them. You know, all the three officers, they have big smiles on their face when you inform all those things. Right? And Colonel Agrawal... This is, this is really you... wonderful. Yes. This is a wonderful workshop, I must say, a seminar. And we must have a series of webinars of such nature. Uh, so with your support, we'll surely be able to make it. Colonel Agrawal, do you have something to say, sir? And, has offered. Yeah. Yes, uh, first, first of all, Jahin, to each one of us, uh, all the lady officers, my good friend, Dr. Gaur, Sapna Agrawal, ma'am, all the students who have taken time out today. And uh, I think this would have been better when we had these uh, such lovely smiling faces who will be telling us who have served and uh, we can say with guts and glory in the armed forces. Or Dr. Pradeep Gaur has told that it is very important that lacking, uh, lack of awareness is something uh, which inhibits people from joining armed forces. So, ये लड़कियों के लिए, girls के लिए बहुत जरूरी है कि और उनके parents को, educators को, school के teachers को और पूरे environment में कि armed forces को लेके एक जो भ्रांतियाँ, myths हैं कि पता नहीं क्या हो जाएगा कि if the girl joins or if a woman joins, will it be very unsafe? On day one they'll be going on line of control uh, with a uh, rifle firing against, uh, fighting the enemy or it will be very, very dangerous for them. All these kind of myths have been created around women officers, but uh, these uh, wonderful women officers who are here today in the panel, I think they will agree with me and tell people that uh, the safest, the safest, I would say, profession in the at least in our country is armed forces. Right. The girls, women are much more safer inside than outside. And secondly, it is not only about safety of women, it is for the honor and pride of serving armed forces. The lifestyle is wonderful. I think it can't be uh, matched by any other corporate or any other lifestyle. And uh, they say once in uniform, always a uniform. And I'm as we move proceed, uh, as we move ahead, we are going to talk about the challenges and which other aspects which are related to uh, the women joining armed forces and their big question marks which they carry and their parents carry. I think we'll be able to sort out those, uh, some of them in whatever limited time we have. Yeah. Kanu, sir, I fully, uh, if you can just check I'm your fully voice is breaking. Yeah. Kanu, Agrawal, we, please check in we, between. Your voice is breaking. Uh, Kanu, Agrawal, your voice is breaking. Meanwhile, oh. I'll, I'll continue okay, with the officers. Yeah, I, I'll continue with the officers. So, I saw, yeah, you know, yeah. I do not know from which, yeah, which, uh, where to start. So, I saw Squadron Leader Vibhuti Mangal smiling and giving us a thumbs up. Commander Prabhala nodding and smiling and Major Bhavna, she's all into it. You know, her uh, own son had also, she's also an army officer's wife and her son had also qualified for any uh, National Defense Academy or BTES. Right. So, you know, uh, before we ask you questions, so one by one, I would be requesting uh, all three of uh, women officers over here. In brief, if you can tell, what was your experience in the uniform? Of course, it's wonderful. 
So, you know, uh, let this. So, we'll start from Major Bhavna. So, Army Navy Air Force, something like that. <laughs> okay. Good evening, gentlemen and ladies. Uh, very, uh, I'm really honored and privileged, you know, to be with this young crowd and to motivate them to join armed forces. It, is, it has been an amazing experience of seven years in Indian Army. Nothing could have happened better in my life. I still, uh, given a chance, I would love to join back. You know, that kind of josh I still have. And uh, with the blessing of God and my upbringing of my parents, my father was uh, in Air Force. I mean, armed forces is one of the best pride profession which anybody can live. So I motivate each and every child who dream to be in uniform, who want respect and not the money, who want to serve the nation with pride, with courage, with dignity, this is the best and one of the only profession in, in our country. So I motivate everyone. And uh, it is one of the safest profession, as Sir said, very respected. If still I introduce myself as major bhavna in a crowd, the eyes turn, eyes roll, and people admire and look at me with due respect. I think I got what I wanted from uh, my well-wishers. So ma'am, it has been an amazing experience. Any question, any query uh, bothering any boy or a girl, we are ready to help you, myself, my colleagues, and our team members. Right, right, right. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. So, uh, Commander Prabhalan, what is your say on that? Yeah, I also second to what Major Bhavna has said. You know, the name itself, let's say my name, Commander Prabha. This itself, it's so vajandar. Don't you all agree with me? <laughs> Thumbs up for that. <laughs> yeah. And you know, this also a saying, once you wear that uniform, the pride which you get, it is, you can't compare it with anything. Till today, when I salute the national flag, the raising of the, you know, when we are unfurling the national flag, I have that kind of pride in me. The Ashok thumb, Ashok emblem, which we wear, you cannot buy. You have to earn it, my dear. And for earning it, bhot mehnat lagti hai. Or mehnat, everybody in this room who aspire to become a defense officer, an armed forces officer, you have something unique in you. And that is why you are today present in this room to know something about the armed forces, the way we live, the way we serve the nation, isn't it? Absolutely yes. Right. So, right. you know, all the armed forces, be it army, navy, air force, it's unique in its own way. It has its own culture, tradition. We have our own regimental system and we take pride in all this. It's a different way of life, my dear. You know, it's really unique. The way it's a good career option also, the facilities which you get, but you have to earn it, right? Right, ma'am. Right. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, Scordinity with Ruthie. Hello everyone. Uh, thank you so much, ma'am, for this wonderful introduction. And uh, I'm really glad, you know, serving the nation and then giving, uh, having the second opportunity to give it back to the society so that we can motivate a lot of girls like us who may not get this uh, support from their neighborhood. I want to tell you all, if you want, you can achieve anything. And as I keep on saying to people around me, the weapon machines, they do not recognize your gender, right? Okay. Remember, they do not recognize the gender. They understand the firm grip and confidence of its operator. So if anybody tells you otherwise that girls are not fit for the uniform, tell them, see me, I will make it uh, clear to you and I will prove it by the virtue of my hard work and my dedication and see all other women officers who are doing wonderfully in their career. See, I'm also from a very uh, nominal background where girls are get uh, generally get married after their 12th or maybe whenever they're in first year. So I'm the first person uh, in my entire neighborhood, family, village who has got into the, uh, who has completed her uh, education and then chose a career which is looked upon as something ferocious and not good for girls. So you can look up to us. It is totally safe and nothing better can be there in which you can serve your country with utmost sincerity. So if there is anything you would like to ask us, please bring it on the table. We would love to help you and guide you through this career transition or to meet your dreams and hopes. We would love to help you. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Great, ma'am. So I would also request uh, Team Edge Academy to kindly keep checking the chat box because you know since it is an open platform, so some untoward people enter. Though we are trying to remove them, right? So thank you, Kavaj, and thank you, yeah, Yashvi. That's perfectly fine. I'm going to take your question a little later. And Kavaj, couple of the uh, students over here, those who are attending, they are uh, SSB aspirants also. So now there is one question. I mean, the panel can decide uh, how they plan to take it. Okay, I think Colonel Sir has entered again um, in the panel, uh, right? So uh, the question, one of the question is that uh, any suggest, I mean, I would want everybody to give you a point of view on that. Any suggestion, how to motivate parents? You know, now it is the children are motivated. The generation is motivated. The girls and boys, everybody is motivated. But you know, sometimes I'm going to ask some difficult questions also later on, but any suggestions from the entire panel one by one in brief, how do we tell parents? Maybe some of them things can be repetitive, but in case you can suggest a few. So, sir, Pradeep, sir, are you there? See, I think, uh, in my opinion, counseling is the best uh, way how we can go about with the parents. Because unless and until there is a general awareness, and uh, as Colonel Piyush also said, that security for girl candidate, which is a prime question in front of parents. So these things are addressed. I think then there is no uh, way that they should back, go back way. So counseling and taking seminars and uh, arranging some get so together, this is noted. Then we yeah. can address directly to the parents. Yes, yeah, so this is noted, sir. Once you are slightly free with the board exams, because you have so much on your shoulders, we are going to come and have a cup of tea with you and uh, we are going to de definitely take care of this. Fine. Right. right. Uh, uh, Ma'am, uh, something from all three of you and then Colonel, sir, that how can we motivate, tell the parents that, you know, uh, that's it. Yeah. yeah. May I, uh, ma'am, with the yes, permission? Ma yes, ma'am. Yes, yeah. ma'am. Yeah. Uh, friends, uh, I had the same issue when I uh, thought of joining Indian Army after leaving my MBA in between. Right. I completed my two semester and um, I had to talk to my parents day and night to convince them that if I do my MBA, I'll be running after my corporate job and earning money. But what I dream is to be in uniform with my stars on the shoulder and I want to live my dream. And that too can only happen at a respective age before that. And I have to be unmarried, all the conditions, everything. After having true heart to heart discussion with my parents, they said, okay, beta. The dialogue of that Dilwale Duraniya Lejagi was not there, but they said, okay, you want to live your dream? Go ahead. But be, be careful while training. Don't get injured. Make your stamina before you go for training. And they give me free hand. I'm, and I'm really grateful to my father and mother, though my father is still not here. And he felt very proud, very, very proud when he put st stars on my shoulder during my commissioning. And my whole village, my whole district, and in fact, my in-laws family, you know, the whole village turned up to see कि एक हरियाणा में जाट बहु जो कि आर्मी ऑफिसर है वो आई है मुझे पूरा गांव देखने आया था सो जस्ट इमेजिन बेटा देयर इज नो जेंडर डिस्पैरिटी योर पेरेंट्स शुड बिलीव इन यू बिलीव इन योर ड्रीम्स एंड दे शुड गिव यू फ्री हैंड सो दैट्स माय विशेस मैम इवन फॉर मी आल्सो इट वाज सिमिलर माय पेरेंट्स वर नॉट रेडी टू सेंड मी इन द आर्म फोर्सेस इट्स क्वाइट नेचुरल फॉर पेरेंट्स to be slightly apprehensive if they do not know what is the system, what is the way of life. So uh, they also said the same thing, but I had to convince my parent. It is up to when you tell them the opportunities, the way of living, they will be convinced. And I had this choice, you know, one day my father just casually, he mentioned in front of some of the guests, Bita, madam to tujhe banna hai, either by virtue of yourself or by virtue of your husband. The choice is yours. And that really shook me. And I said, no. And, you know, I was like, I love wearing gold, but that gold will be on my shoulders, my stripes. Yes, as both the uh, seniors before me brought out, if you want to convince your parents, just uh, first of all, uh, make sure why do you want to join? First, convince yourself. Why do join? There are so many opportunities outside. Why do you want to join the armed forces? If you are clear about it, to aap apne parents ko bata sakte ho ki this is why I want to wear uniform because it is, uh, you cannot compare it with any other service. Aapko ho sakta hai, bahar corporate mein zyada paisa mile, but aapko kaam karne ka satisfaction milega. Will you ever think that I am contributing something tremendous to my nation? आपको लगता है जब आप बाजार में निकलोगे कोई आपको देखेगा और देखता रह जाएगा कि वाओ 
this is what i want to become so you yourself want to become a motivation i think this is the best thing you can do and obviously uh, we would like to request the school and uh, college authorities that if they provide that kind of environment within their campus and maybe host a meeting or some kind of um, activity when parents can come and look how uh, women officers in the armed forces are doing it so wonderful so it will be easy for par parents to grasp that unki beti ikloti nahi hai jo ye karna chahti hai bahut log hain jo karke nikal chuke hain और आने वाले टाइम में करेंगे तो उनकी बेटी में अगर ये जज्बा है तो उसको सपोर्ट करना चाहिए बिकॉज इससे बेहतर अपने देश को अपनी सोसाइटी को अगर हम कुछ दे सकते हैं तो ज्वाइन आर्म फोर्सेस एंड सर्व टू योर लास्ट ब्रेथ एंड इवन बेटर राइट राइट कर्नल सर सजेशंस फ्रॉम यू या आई विल स्टार्ट विद वन कोट विच वी यूज इन आर्म फोर्सेज वेरी वेरी ऑफन वेन गोइंग गेट्स टफ द टफ गेट्स गोइंग ओके so that is how we begin my this thing and i think now i am audible yes, uh, yes, without yes. my sound breaking yes, okay yes. and uh, i would like to say to all the uh, students all the girls who have joined to listen to us we don't grow when things are easy we grow when we face challenges and as we have heard all three women officers here uh, major bhavna commander lal and squadron leader vibhuti one thing is common in three of them that they love to face challenges and that is the foundation their parents build that foundation schools build more on that and then subsequently that values and foundation put together what they are today we have see them in front of us as legends as that small little number who say with proud that we are the first we are the first we are the one like uh, i was just reading when you were, uh, were reading about uh, scorn leader vibhuti even when she was enjoying or whatever her <laughs> maternity leave she did not waste that time she penned down a book okay so that is something that is a challenges which uh, armed forces whether it is army navy air force teaches us ab main thoda hindi mein hi bolunga so that if anybody has kisi ko thoda sa uh, लैंग्वेज के इशू ना हो सबसे पहली चीज जो ये है कि हमें समझना है डॉक्टर गॉड ने भी बताया कि हाफ द पॉपुलेशन नाउ वी आर सीन रशिया और यूक्रेन का युद्ध चल रहा है और जब युद्ध चलता है वॉर होती है तो इट इज नेशंस हु फाइट द वॉर नॉट द आर्म फोर्सेस इट इज नॉट आर्म फोर्सेज वॉर ये हमें सभी को समझनी पड़ेगी कि युद्ध कभी भी आ, सेनाओं के बीच में नहीं होता है देश के बीच में होता है और हम जब देश की सिक्योरिटी की बात करेंगे तो हाउ कैन वी मिस आउट ए ह्यूज पॉपुलेशन उनका हम सबका देश है ना तो पहली चीज तो ये हो गई सिक्योरिटी के लिए और हमारे देश की रक्षा के लिए वेमेन नीड टू बी देयर सेकेंडली वाई शुड वेमेन मिस आउट ऑन दिस लाइफ ओके युद्ध तो एक बार होना है पर युद्ध के अलावा पूरी लाइफ भी है दिस चैलेंजेस दिस वंडरफुल लाइफ विच वी हैव इन आर्म फोर्सेज हाउ कैन वी नॉट परमिट वेमेन और हाउ कैन वुमेन नॉट ज्वाइन बिकॉज ऑफ लैक ऑफ अवेयरनेस क्या उनको अगर किसी कारणवश कुछ मिथ्स हैं कुछ नॉलेज की कमी है वो हमारी ड्यूटी बनती है एजुकेटर्स की ड्यूटी बनती है गवर्नमेंट की ड्यूटी बनती है पेरेंट्स की ड्यूटी बनती है टीचर्स की ड्यूटी बनती है और इन जो हमारे सामने आज बैठे इस तरह के एलिमिने लेजेंड्स की और जो आर्म फोर्सेज में सर्व कर चुके हैं उनकी भी मैं तो कहूंगा ड्यूटी बनती है कि लोगों तक ये बात पहुंचाना कि आर्म फोर्सेस जैसा आप लोग परसीव करते हैं वैसी नहीं है यस परसेप्शंस आर आर्म फोर्सेस के बारे में बड़े वियर्ड परसेप्शन भी होते हैं दे आर नो ग्रेज आई मीन वी से एक्सट्रीम्स पे होते हैं या तो बड़ा इस तरह का परसेप्शन होता है कि आर्म फोर्सेस इज वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट लाइफ बहुत ज्यादा वहां पे uh, अजीब किस्म का माहौल होता है यू हैव टू गो ऑन बॉर्डर यू हैव टू फाइट और जब पीस टाइम पे होते हैं बहुत ज्यादा ब्रूटैलिटीज होती हैं शायद कुछ लोगों के मन में इस तरह का भी परसेप्शन होता है और कई बार ये परसेप्शन ओटीटी और मीडिया के द्वारा सोशल मीडिया जैसे पीछे कोई फिल्म वगैरह आई थी उसमें भी कुछ इस तरह का मैंने नहीं देखी पर कुछ इस तरह के परसेप्शन क्रिएट कर दिए जाते हैं और कुछ परसेप्शन इस तरह के भी होते हैं कि ये तो दिस आर्म फोर्स इज ओनली फॉर मेल एंड दिस थिंग एंड इस वजह से कि यहां पर बहुत प्रॉब्लम्स आती होंगी वही जो क्वेश्चन कुछ लोगों ने पूछे भी हैं 
कि शादी के बाद क्या होगा बच्चे होंगे जब दुश्मन की गोली हमारे ऊपर आती है तो गोली ये रिकोगनाइज नहीं करती है कि ये जेंडर स्पेसिफिक है कि वो मेल के लिए डायरेक्टेड थी या फीमेल के लिए डायरेक्टेड थी और मैं इसको थोड़ा सा रिपीट करूंगा इसको इनफैक्ट रिवर्स करूंगा रिपीट नहीं करूंगा रिवर्स करूंगा कि गोली हमारे ऊपर नहीं आएगी गोली आएगी दुश्मन के ऊपर हम तो उनको गोली मारेंगे पहली पहली तो सीधी बात यह है तो जब हम गोली चलाएंगे तो गोली ना तो बंदूक रिकनाइज करेगी ना गोली रिकनाइज करेगी कि ये गोली बंदूक किसने चलाई है मेल ने फीमेल ने चलाई है ये मेजर भावना ने चलाई है या कर्नल अग्रवाल ने चलाई है गोली तो दुश्मन को पढ़नी ही पढ़नी है और गोली उसके जब लगेगी उसको नहीं पता चलेगा कि गोली मेल ने चलाई थी फीमेल ने चलाई थी और हमारी धरती तो वॉरियर्स को पहले से बहुत हम लोग सिर्फ या दो तीन वुमेन वॉरियर्स को ही हम बोलते हैं कि रानी लक्ष्मीबाई और झांसी लेकिन हमारी तो लिस्ट इतनी लंबी है कि हमने कभी हमारे हिस्ट्री में स्कूल में पढ़ाई नहीं गई उड़ा देवी के बारे में झलकारी बाई के बारे में नायका देवी जिन्होंने मोहम्मद गजनी जिसने महमूद गजनी ने हमारे ऊपर अटैक किया था उसको कैसे हराया रानी अवंती बाई और साउथ में वेलू नचियार बहुत जन्मा कितनी सारी लंबी लिस्ट है मैं लिस्ट बोलने लग जाऊंगा तो हिस्टोरिकली हमने बहुत सारे वॉरियर्स हमारे देश में वेमेन वॉरियर्स भी पैदा किए हैं तो इसलिए हमें फ्यूचर में भी ये देखना है कि हम हम जब युद्ध लड़े या पीस टाइम में हो तो हमारे हम पूरे माइट के साथ लड़े और लेट मी ऑल्सो टेल यू वेमेन हैव प्रूव्ड प्रूव्ड दैट दे आर इक्वली गुड एंड इन मेनी फील्ड्स दे आर इवन बेटर सो इनफैक्ट मैं एक्सेंडी हूं मेरा जैसे बताया था मैं रिमकोलियन भी हूं और आर uh, आज और कल हंड्रेड इयर्स सेलिब्रेट कर रहा है सौ वर्ष सेंटेनरी में भी लड़कियां आएंगी आप देखना आर एम सी में भी बहुत बड़ी डिबेट चली एनडीए में बहुत बड़ी डिबेट चली एक्सेंडी क्योंकि वी वर वी आर वी से वेरी रिजिट फॉर चेंजेस हम चेंज नहीं करना चाहते हैं तो हमारे मन में यह आया कि अगर लड़कियां आएंगी तो छत्तीस प्रॉब्लम और आ जाएंगी पर यह नहीं सोचा कि छत्तीस प्रॉब्लम आएंगी तो बहत्तर प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व होंगी या छत्तीस सौ प्रॉब्लम सोल्व भी होंगी सो वेमेन Uh, we had, I mean, our country had to, people had to go to courts to get that okay, take करवाओ कि भाई किसी तरह से लड़के हम entry लेंगे। अब जैसे Dr. Gaur ने बताया कि सैनिक school में पहले बहुत कमाई, फिर धीरे-धीरे करके संख्या बढ़ते हुए 300 क्या मन हो गई? अभी हम देखेंगे NDA में 10 join करी। अब धीरे-धीरे धीरे करके आप देखेंगे NDA की strength कम होती है, नफरी कम होती है, पर women जरूरत है आज की तारीख में किसी भी तरीके से ये बात लड़कियों तक पहुंचे कि इट इज ए प्रोफेशन ऑफ प्राइड डिग्निटी फुल ऑफ सेफ्टी एंड ऑनर एंड लेट मी ऑल्सो शेयर दैट आर्म फोर्सेस पे यू रीजनेबली वेल ऐसा कोई कमी नहीं होती हमारे लाइफस्टाइल में कि हमें वी हैव टू वी आर वरेड अबाउट कि भाई कॉर्पोरेट में पैकेजेस होते हैं हमारे पैकेजेस थोड़े डिफरेंट किस्म के होते हैं हमारी गाड़ियां थोड़े डिफरेंट किस्म की होती हैं अब बाहर जाके आप बी खरीदोगे हमारे पास टैंक्स होते हैं अगर वो आपने देखा होगा यूक्रेन की लड़ाई में रशियन सोल्जर ने बड़े आराम से एक बीएमडब्ल्यू के ऊपर अपना बीएमपी या टैंक चढ़ा दिया था तो हमारे पास बड़ी गाड़ियां होती हैं हमारे पास हवाई जहाज होते हैं जेट फाइटर्स होते हैं सबमेरिन होती हैं बहुत सारी चीजें होती हैं बाकी अगले स्पीकर्स को भी मैं चांस दूंगा नहीं तो मैं बोलता हूँ डॉक्टर प्रदीप सिंह क्वेश्चन ऑफ बहुत ज्यादा था इनफैक्ट आई विल वॉन्ट इट दायर पैनल टू एड्रेस टू इट इन दिन विच वे सो इट इज समिंग लाइक to have ncc in schools that is why i'll start with uh, uh, pradeep sir because he has initiated a complete ncc wing and uh, we were seeing the photographs on social media i mean fantastic uh, display of uh, firing with uh, girls and cadets they were doing so like how uh, good is uh, there that you know we should uh, make the children take ncc at school level though the entry ha- for ncc happens only after graduation but what is your take on ncc in the schools and you know i was reading in the chat some of the schools one of the person said that the, the school is uh, demotivating the children to take ncc and uh, to, so you know such like of things uh, uh, pradeep sir would you like to uh, like throw some yeah we we have already introduced ncc air wing is also already there army is being introduced this year 
and apart from this scout and guide is also there so that the child when he is at in class say fifth or sixth he joins a scout and he starts loving such type of defense uh, activities and other activities related to uh, armed forces so he automatically goes and enters into and what benefits he is getting those are being spelled out by the ncc officers when they had visited the school so the attraction is too much this year we had to ask two three students not to join because it was already overflowing so this is a matter of pride for all of us but at the same time as i am requesting the panel also and colonel piyush also especially for girl candidates since we are talking about women in armed forces we must uh, try and uh, get into touch with the ministry also and maybe uh, the people who are responsible for all these uh, activities that yes for girl candidate we must promote we must uh, encourage them we must advertise to the maximum possible extent so that people are aware because right now people are not aware that whether their girl is even eligible for getting into sanic school forget about other things so these things I, must be publicized at national level i totally agree i totally agree with you we and uh, i 100% 200% i will now it is a good platform since we joined and we came to know that uh, we have the uh, similar frequency matching and we will work on this direction uh, asap uh, frequency yes of course i mean everybody knows uh, pradeep singh sir has been so open to all innovative ideas and we have seen for years <laughs> that uh, Absolutely. Yeah, i i have eight uh, army officers in my family eight <laughs> army officers including including a general yeah. <laughs> so that's great sir we are also family yes sir we are definitely a family yeah. okay so now major bhavna commander prabhalal and vibhuti bagal what is your take on ncc because you weren't probably i do not know that you were in ncc or not what is your take okay. on ncc for girls and boys fine uh, uh, sapna ma'am uh, i myself is ex uh, ncc cadet i have done c certificate in uh, army wing from pune to maharashtra girls battalion ncc and uh, why i joined army was during uh, when i joined in my first year of ncc that time the opening for the girls was not there in in army oblique uh, navy oblique air force and i thought let me just put on the ncc uniform and uh, live the life and believe me the kind of discipline the kind of uh, uh, drill the kind of map reading the kind of camps the kind of national camps i got an opportunity to participate and being ncc cadet uh, many opportunities uh, came uh, on our way to be in pune and to serve the society like Gan uh, ganpati utsav you know there, there were uh, national games happening in pune and we were put on a security duty so just imagine as a college student i was contributing right from my college days being in ncc so it is amazing experience in your life once a ncc cadet i mean you always remember the drill you remember the discipline the value of time you remember the value of society and you become a very 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 contributing citizen of this country so ma'am it is amazing every child every child whether you join armed forces or not you must join ncc scouts right. and guides very very important ma'am right. that's my right. stake thank you thank you ma'am uh, commander papa yeah i was not in ncc i was in scouts and guides but i here want to say whether you are a ncc student or not that doesn't hinder you from joining the armed forces because training is going to happen whether you join sanic school or you join nda or you directly join after graduation into the armed forces so this shouldn't be there but yes joining an ncc definitely has certain benefits like you get the training beforehand so you know there's a question of known and unknown so you if you are already aware of certain things it's always beneficial second uh, in certain colleges you get advantage of getting admission you some get some extra marks okay and in certain jobs like for example reliance these days for security jobs they have made, made it mandatory to have ncc certificate so you get an upper hand in case you have a ncc certificate so definitely i would say if you are getting a chance go for ncc great Uh, squad leader Vibhuti, what's your take on this? Uh, I would like to add on. Uh, I have never been part of anything. Uh, see, I have done my schooling from a very small village where we had barely good school. Mm -hmm. So, uh, thinking about NCC scouts and guide uh, was way beyond. My mother had been a um, guide, so she uh, told me what are the benefits, and she raised me in a very disciplined and uh, multi-skilled person. so i would say that if you do not get the opportunity 
don't think that you are not fit to join the forces just grasp what is the main core of it you have to be disciplined right you have to be very dedicated and hard working your aim should be clear so if you join it is wonderful it will prepare you for your future even if you do not join armed forces i don't think there is any harm in getting discipline and dedication into your life you will succeed in every field after you get out from these organizations and if you do not join and still want to serve in armed forces i am here i have never been part of anything till my college right. still i cleared everything when i was in my fourth year of engineering and joined it and uh, like we were discussing now uh, like people are not aware about what are the women warriors contribution so it's a, just a very basic example hum ghar mein i would uh, say it in hindi so uh, for the benefit of all hum ghar mein mata ji ki pooja karte hain theek hai bharat mein devi ko pooja jata hai kisi bhi mandir mein aapne kisi bhi devi ki murti dekhi hai jiske haath mein astr ya shastra nahi hota oh, devi super. durga ko poojte hain na hum so how can you think your girl is not capable you have to understand these things and put these kind of arguments or opinions with your parents and elders in the family so you know they will understand wo jis uh, environment mein bade hue hain उन्होंने यही देखा है कि फौज लड़कियों के लिए अच्छी नहीं है पर आपको ऐसा नहीं है वो आपको आगे नहीं बढ़ने देना चाहते हैं पर वो जिस एनवायरनमेंट में बड़े हैं उनके लिए वो इस तरीके का एक बायस क्रिएट हो गया है तो आप उनको समझाइए कि हम इसी तरीके के समाज को बिलोंग करते हैं जहां से शुरू से हमने एक वॉरियर वुमेन को प्रे किया है एंड करंटली भी देर आर वुमेन इन वॉरियर रोल्स एंड आई थिंक आई एम फिट टू एंटर दैट पोजिशन सो प्लीज सपोर्ट मी I would say that Komal hai, kamzor nahi, shakti ka naam ki hai, right? Yeah, that's that's very important. So, and you know, uh, chat box me, our officers, these beach me, they are posting certain links. Uh, Major Bhavna and Commander Prabhalal from Army and Navy, so you can visit that. And uh, we'll take care, ma'am. We've as promised to you. So once it is being put on YouTube, I will put everything in the description box also for the benefit of all, and we'll share it with everybody. Colonel sir, I'll not ask you about your take on NCC because you know, sabhi ne NCC ke baare me bataya. Now, one strong question, which I do not know how many participants asked, is, do you think? Like, I'll I'll begin this question from you. Do you think that uh, two questions in one? And then, of course, the lady officers uh, will have to ask. And, and you know, because Pradeep Singh sir ne bola ki unki army uh, family mein bahut saare officers hai. So, fir last pe unse puchenge ye wala question. <laughs> so, it is something like, what is your take on women in their combat role and special para forces? So the girls not only want to join defense forces, they want to be in combat role. It's a uh, at least fifty percent questions in the Google Forms version of this, and they okay. want to be part of the special forces. So please. Okay, I'll uh, I'll begin with this thing. In last uh, couple of months, पिछले कुछ महीनों में बहुत सारी लड़कियां हमारे पास आईं कि जब ये NDA का newspapers में और काफी ज़्यादा इसका वो हुआ था कि NDA की entry होगी नहीं होगी और फिर UPSC ने date extend करी और करीब दो लाख वन लाख एटी थाउजेंड गर्ल्स फिल्ड द फॉर्म हो तो तो ये लड़कियां आई तो सबसे ज्यादा जब वो पेरेंट्स के साथ आए तो लड़कियों से ज्यादा इनिबिशन और क्वेश्चंस और वियर्ड डाउट्स लड़कियों के पेरेंट्स के मन में होता था बहुत ज्यादा मतलब अजीब अजीब किस्म के प्रश्न होते थे एंड मेनी ऑफ देम आई कांट इवन स्पीक ऑल्सो समेट वाली बात पहले कर लेते हैं तो वो क्वेश्चंस आते थे तो क्वेश्चंस का तो मैं बात लेकिन जब लड़कियों से बात हुई तो लड़कियां इतनी मोटिवेटेड थी इसी द डिफरेंस द पेरेंट्स हैड वियर डाउट्स बट द गर्ल्स वर मोस्ट ऑफ द गर्ल्स वर क्लियर हेडेड दे ऑलवेज वांटेड कि अगर मेरे को आर्म फोर्सेस ज्वाइन करनी है तो आई वॉन्ट टू बी इन कॉम्बैट रोल आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू बी इन ए सपोर्ट रोल काइंड ऑफ ए थिंग सो वी हैड टू एक्सप्लेन दैम दैट एवरीबडी वेदर यू आर इन ए कॉम्बैट रोल और कॉम्बैट सपोर्ट रोल यू फाइट टूगेदर वी फाइट एज ए टीम एवरीबडी इज इंपॉर्टेंट Okay, now like in Air Force, uh, in recent times they are open for uh, fighters also. The women are flying. Uh, we all know um, Bhavna and uh, Avni Kant and other fighter pilots. In armed forces, as such, as of now, I'll put the things right. In the extreme fighting roles, that is uh, the like we have infantry, we have armored corps, we have artillery, and mechanized infantry. The women are not permitted. ओके एज ऑफ नाउ आई एम श्योर टाइम्स टू कम थिंग्स आर मूविंग वेरी क्विकली बहुत तेजी से बदलाव हो रहे हैं बहुत तेजी से लाइक 
it's uh, 2020 ka supreme court ka order women cleared for command roles also uh, women cleared for uh, permanent commission also women cleared for nda also so very soon we'll have women also coming into uh, pure combat formations or combat units yani ke jo direct aamne samne ki ladai mein hote hain hai na para commandos ye para para special forces jis ki baat ho rahi hai even in army even in navy and even in air force like navy ki marcos hoti hai air force ki garud special forces hoti hain aur army ki we all know sf and uh, national security guard yahan par filhal women are not permitted i am sure uh, in times to come women will also be permitted in combat in extreme combat roles also but nonetheless remember if you wear uniform you can leave your mark anywhere you don't have to be a, a para commando only you can do lot of things i am in army the way of life aapke samne baithe hain jo unhone para jumps kiye hue hain aaj bachcho jitne log yahan par hain to jitne log yahan par hain unhone कोई पैरा कमांडो होना जरूरी नहीं है पैरा कमांडो जैसे काम बिना पैरा कमांडो हुए भी करे जा सकते हैं ओके नाउ दैट्स अ वेरी गुड आंसर थैंक यू सो नॉट नेसेसरिली एवरीबॉडी मूव्स इनटू पैरास एंड स्पेशल फोर्सेस वी कैन डू सिमिलर वर्क विदाउट दैट टैग आल्सो बिकॉज़ वी वर्क आई मीन वी फाइट एज अ टीम टुगेदर सो दैट्स ग्रेट इससे पहले कि मैं विमेन ऑफिसर्स के आवाज ऑफ कॉम्बैट रोल और यू नो ये सब पूछने के लिए सर अभी मुझे लगा मैं लास्ट में आपके पास आऊंगी पर मुझसे रुका ही नहीं जा रहा है सो सो आई 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 एम 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 यू हैव मेनी ऑफिसर्स इन द फैमिली एज यू एंड वी वी गोइंग टू मीट देम सम टाइम व्हाट इज योर टेक ऑन यू नो दी स्पेशल फोर्सेस एंड विमेन इन कॉम्बैट रोल आई थिंक एज एवरी वन इज ऑल्सो स्टेटिंग द सेम स्टेटमेंट दैट वीमेन आर नो लेस देन मेल ऑफिसर वीमेन कैन सर्टेनली डू वंडर्स दर इज एब्सोलूटली नो सेकेंड थॉट अबाउट इट because when women can become superintendent of police when they can become ig when they can become dg or ag so all these uh, ranks are awarded in on the in the civil post also and otherwise in bsf and in other uh, security forces also why not in army mm-hmm. they can always and as uh, vibhuti has also mentioned earlier that one the weapon doesn't know whether it is being caught by a women or by a male it only needs a strong grip and things happen so why women cannot succeed in combat role they right, can always sir. go ahead with it right sir okay so now all three officers so matlab dushman samne aayega to zinda to nahi chhodenge ye to tay ye to mujhe aapka you know because abhi aapne bhi bataya ki paragliding kar rahi or what is your take on women in combat <coughs> so one by one again army navy air force wahi sequence chal raha hai wahi chal raha hai uh ma'am women can contribute amazingly uh, in combat role uh, the will power the grit and the confidence and uh, uh, mahisha sur mardani as we say and uh, very uh, truly uh, prabha has already uh, you know suggested even vibhuti also so ma'am we play a very important role and the training is really tough and it makes much more tougher and we become a like iron the way the males are trained and we can equally take on the enemy or for that matter any contingency you must have seen uh, even uh, during kargil or uh, prakram also the women even at the back end were giving equal support day and night irrespective of gender everywhere they were providing support now that time they were not in the combat role and definitely as um, uh, kal agarwal has suggested in due course of time they will be in the front they will be at loc they will be in the uh, infantry and they will be leading uh, doing the leading role and it will be amazing day for our indian army air force and navy mm-hmm. as they are doing presently thank you major bhav and for it ma'am combat yes. should be provided aapke to chair when you were speaking na to chair se bhi lag raha tha combat <laughs> okay yes, yeah commander prabha pehle to mindset माइंडसेट इज रियली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यूर है वॉरियर माइंडसेट हम फौज में मरने के लिए नहीं ज्वाइन करते हैं मारने के लिए ज्वाइन करते हैं नेवी में क्या होता है एक बार हम शिप पे जैसे जाते हैं जब शिप एक बार पानी में जमीन से अलग हो गया इट इज अ सिटी इन इट सेल्फ ओके यू आर डिटैच फ्रॉम द लैंड अंदर यू हैव ऑल द फेसिलिटीज once you are in the sea you do not have man to man combat you understand the difference which mm-hmm. is there mm-hmm. there is no man to man combat the combat is through missiles okay goli yeah. barood whatever so isko chalane ke liye you do not require your physical ye dimag chahiye ha uh-huh. machine as coordinator vibhuti rightly said 
the machine doesn't differentiate between a man and a woman mm. so there is no question who is pressing the button you are not pushing something by hand or so. it's all these days is this electronic warfare mm -hmm. right information right, right. technology so once That's it great. is how, the more you practice this is why we all are trained we it signals we have our own communication system knowing the you know war zone we have our own missiles guided missiles unguided missiles we are trained into that different there are different different branches for that everybody is not doing the same kind of role but they are assisting so combat per se on water is not man to man it is through your machinery your missiles your guns you know so we are trained what particular angle what is the weather condition in fact i was in a unit wherein we did analysis of you know if the weather condition what is the wind of the uh, speed of the wind so what will be my direction of missile firing if the direction is different what is the knots we call wind speed okay so right. it is all about not man to man it is all about information warfare and the technology so navy all welcome yeah sure uh, squad leader vibhuti what is your take on this combat yeah, definitely uh, you should go for it see i'll tell you about a funny story about me right so i wanted to join the ncc and all i didn't get chance and i was like i have to be in the combat role so what i did i uh, focused myself apart from studies into the sports i'm a national uh, gold medalist and then i thought i have to be prepared for the combat roles because uh, that is one good way that i can convince my parents and other family so that i am ready so i've joined martial arts and i have done really good in cbse and in my college also i've got gold medals at national level so that gave me a confidence that i am good for combat role and i have kicked many boys asses wonderfully so i think if i can do it if so many uh, women are doing out there you can see a boxing championship judo karate wushu buko anything girls are amazing you just have to get that uh, uh, bias out of your mind that you are weaker gender no it is not like that you've got same kind of bones you've got a same kind of body it is just the mindset as commander prabha brought out you just have to uh, believe that you can do it another thing is same machine doesn't recognize and moreover you have to understand uh, this is a world of globalization right so i don't think uh, there will be very uh, very few chances jahan pe aap aise movie types mein na haath vaat se ladai karoge no it doesn't happen that way okay mm -hmm. because we don't let the enemy come this close to us that's why we have got weapons missiles aircrafts bombs unarmed vehicle uh, yeah, aerial vehicles right see i am a helicopter trained um, officer so what we do if at all there is a chance that comes so we will go to that place we can bombard that with missiles bombs and if required we are also the one who rescues so it is not that you have to always fight and harm the other person we do mm -hmm. other rescue operations as well in hills seas in all kind of places so defend doesn't mean that you have to fight on the war zone it also means that you have to protect your territory and the citizens of this nation so right. you have to be very open about all kinds of roles which you are going to do right and it is uh, like commander prabha brought out it is a time of cyber warfare जितना एनिमी से आप दूर रह के उसको हरा सकते हो उतनी बेटर आपकी कंट्री और आर्म फोर्सेस हैं एंड स्लोली स्लोली वी आर गोइंग टूवर्ड्स दैट एंड वी आर डूइंग वंडरफुल राइट थैंक यू थैंक यू दी ऑफिसर्स प्रदीप सर देयर इज अ क्वेश्चन एक्चुअली वी हैव अ कपल ऑफ स्कूल लीडर्स ओवर हियर फ्रॉम अक्रॉस द कंट्री सो सर इफ यू आर हियर सो व्हाट यू लाइक टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन एक्चुअली राजेश सर वाज आल्सो आस्किंग दैट इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू हैव एनसीसी इन स्कूल so because you have ncc in your school uh, would you like to uh, answer sir is it very difficult to have ncc no no it is not that difficult because if you fulfill the norms ncc is very easily available only thing is that in that particular city if there are issues related to uh, ncc office then there is a problem right. because right. earlier this problem was there and uh, now since they have already Uh, they are going on a drive to include schools for ncc purpose so they have given that sanction right sir right sir thank you sir so sir now i mean this part of because we are going very well with the time and we are maintaining that club of 90 plus uh, audience throughout a couple of difficult questions which uh, i would request our lady officers to answer 
so there are three questions i mean of course uh, you know ko ek sath bolti hu so that it is easier for you to rope in number one um, how do i mean while during the training how are the menstrual uh, menstrual cycle uh, is handled number two uh, yeah pradeep sir i do understand thank you for sparing time sir uh, i know there's so much work of cbse going on so you can you may leave sir and i completely understand thank you sir uh, thank you so much right so you know how do we handle the menstrual cycle during the training number two uh, do the women officers bear children <laughs> and number three after so much of tough training and combat life and all how do they remain beautiful so there are three different questions <laughs> Now you'll be surprised. Yes, but these are the questions asked. Okay. Yes, Major Bhavna. Yeah, a uh, very very genuine question, ma'am. And in fact, one should be uh, these questions should be answered. Okay, friends, uh, female friends or oblique the girls. I would like to address you right from my uh, you can say childhood. My mother always told the uh, God has made your body uh, take it in a natural way. I never missed any of my school days or college days or my NCC days. just because of my menstruation cycle or my periods right i was going for a normal drill i was taking all uh, precautions like carrying extra pads or whatever things are required and never i ever asked for any excuse that i will not be taking part in any drill yes definitely i was carrying whatever extra stuff is required whether i was in any ncc camp whether i was in uh, training at academy even if there was a 5 km run and we were having menstruation period we never ever asked sir sorry except swimming that you all must understand that we cannot enter swimming pool during this period that's it otherwise never ever take excuse that okay i will not go to the school today or i will not go for exam because of this it is a natural way god has made us please go ahead with this second regarding bearing of child see as per age uh, i am blessed with one son and daughter they both are in college one is about to finish and another uh, and uh, daughter is in the first year of college i had normal delivery in spite of such a hard training i never ever face this issue keep your diet proper train yourself well maintain your body health hygiene nothing in dibar i have seen many my corporate friends facing issues not being in army and still not able to live a very normal life because of unhealthy habits because of unhealthy grooming because of unhealthy mindset so then it will never be a deterrent to your normal family life secondly army takes care when you conceive and when you are uh, you, it provide you maternity leave right so they do take care of they provide you all medical facilities like normal checkup and regular checkup and your teammates your commanding officer your colleagues they provide you full support but mind you again uh, you can ask my any senior never ever i missed any pt parade because i was carrying my child even in my 8th month of pregnancy i was running with my troops i was doing my drill and and i delivered the baby in the ninth month at right time both the kids and doctor asked me you must go for maternity leave i said nothing doing till the time i am able to do my normal work i will carry on i wanted to save my number of days for taking care of my child so right. my dear i have served till my eighth month of pregnancy in indian army with my troops with my men along with them and it was appreciated by my commanding officer that a normal male officer generally takes sick leave that i am having fever but bhavna never ever did, did this i was in one army headquarters signal regiment providing communication during op prakram i was uh, carrying my child i was doing night shift for 12 hours never ever i did it and i'm sure even prabha and uh, vibhuti also has never taken any 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 time any privilege like this once you are uniform you are at par with your male colleagues never ever show that you are a female you want to take rest why you are getting equal pay and perks you are trained equally you go through equal training mental training so never ever give a thought about it even your parents when say so say sorry i am uh, can you believe it my delivery was done by a male officer oh. and my mother in law had a inhibition oh gainik yahan koi aurat doctor nahi hai bacche ke liye i my husband since he, he himself is a army officer he said mama doctor doctor hai chahe wo male ho ya female आर्मी में कभी इस बारे में जेंडर में डिस्क्रिमिनेशन नहीं होता है सो जस्ट इमेजिन माय नॉर्मल डिलीवरी वाज डन बाय वन ऑफ द मेल डॉक्टर ऑफिस राइट सो दैट्स इट मैम सो अमेजिंग एक्सपीरियंस प्लीज नेवर हैव एवर हैव सच थॉट्स एंड नेवर डेटर योरसेल्फ बिकॉज़ यू आर अ फीमेल यू आर एट पार विद बॉयज ओके थैंक यू आई एम श्योर दिस इज गोइंग टू हेल्प अ लॉट ऑफ गर्ल्स कमांडर प्रभा सो रिगार्डिंग द ट्रेनिंग मेनी पेरेंट्स हैव दिस इनहिबिशन रिगार्डिंग पीरियड्स so it is quite if you consider it normal it is normal 
uh, some trainees do have this um, thing that sometimes their period during the training period, it stops because your body gets into sudden stress. So it happens, but it is quite normal. Once your training period is over, comes back natural. So I have seen some of my friends, they had this issue, but no issues. It's your nature's way of adapting. Sometimes the body takes time. Somebody who is not into physical fitness or something. So it happens quite normal. Imagine my uniform, white, not mm -hmm. even that camouflage. Mm -hmm. And you think white and periods, mm -hmm. no issues, never. Be prepared like a normal thing. Yeah, keep your things ready. Have be resourceful. Nothing. There's no shame. Nothing. This thing is very normal. Gone are those days when in newspaper it used to be wrapped. Ab aise aaram se milta hai. Kuch nahi. <laughs> okay. Everybody will have repelling. You remember black uh, uh, newspaper, then black polythene. Right. Ab canteen mein bhi aaram se milta hai. There's no. If you do not feel shame, why will the person who is in front of you feel ashamed of it? You shouldn't be ashamed of it. It is a God's gift that you are a child bearing people. Like we all are human beings. Hume shakti hai. Janam mm -hmm. ki shakti hai. Be proud of that fact. Right. And as she brought out that maternity leave is there. Yes. We had only two months maternity leave. I am from that old leave system. But now we have six months maternity leave. Okay. So there's nothing. I have two kids. My son is in class 10th. My daughter is in class fifth. So you see, we all like, there's nothing, no issues regarding that. Maintain your hygiene, be mentally and physically fit, stay strong, nothing like it. Right, right, right. So, I mean, yeah, okay. Uh, Spotlight, I mean, because Abhi, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so please. Yes, uh, Major Bhavna and Commander Prabha has already brought out all the issues. See, periods do not stop you from doing anything as, uh, as Commander Prabha brought out. Pehle papers mein milta tha. And moreover, have you ever uh, thought in a few years back ki hum aise, uh, itne sare logo ke beech mein this word period, period, yeah. menstruation, bar bar yeah. nahi na? That taboo has been broken. So you have to get out of that thing. Aap apna normal life jiyo, koi problem nahi aati. But if you are one of those few girls, jisko bohat zada problem hoti hai, you can always say that. Log bohat zada they are not harsh. They will understand that you have a medical condition and they will give you, uh, you know, warm pads and your uh, course mates. They will take care of you. Like when I was pregnant, it, uh, my baby is just one year right now. So see, I am a newbie into yeah. the motherhood. So uh, and I was posted at a location which is close to the border. So we were not having too many or uh, too much of the facilities and this uh, COVID breakdown happened and we were not having any maids to cook. And we had to launch the aircrafts early in the morning and all those things. But I used to go at my time, whether it's 3 a.m., 4 a.m. or maybe late till night. But you will be mesmerized that unlike uh, the uh, corporate or civil culture, my commanders, my colleagues, they used to bring tiffins for me. Because in maternity, like when you are pregnant, you... Uh, you should have food more often in small, small bits. Otherwise, uh, I tend to warm it often. So they had made sure that when I'm doing my duty and I'm not taking care of myself and the baby. So they took it upon themselves that they made sure that Vibhuti will have all her meals on time. And if she is having any problem, we will take care. Even like my um, uh, the senior who I used to report, he used to ensure that I do not miss any of my medical checkups because I was busy in the office. So this is the kind of environment armed forces is providing you. So do not worry about that. It is like second family to you. They are really very caring. Even in the academy when you are getting trained, the boys out there, we train together boys and girls, right? So they know that this is your period's time and they take your care if you want that. And if you're strong, I would suggest this is your first option. You be strong. Do not try to bargain that leverage out of it that I am on my period. It's a normal cycle. It happens monthly. And for past so many years, we are dealing with this. So there's nothing so much to make a fuss about. So if you uh, break that barrier, you're good to go in any condition. Absolutely. And uh, when we see the sports person. I think the similar questions will be for them as well. Because, you know, they are swimmers and they are other people. So I come. And, you know, the third question. So I think I'll take that third question and answer it. So it was about menstrual cycle babies and the beauty. So, you know, uh, participants, do you see three beautiful women officers over here? <laughs> right. So in case they go... And go hats off and hats off to their courage and the very beautifully they have explained this thing and which was considered as a problem. Yeah. Is now it's a normal, natural thing. I mean, uh, 
it gave me goosebumps the way they were explaining ki is time pe bhi they let the life and i was reading the comment of uh, major bhavna that she was uh, into the firing range when she was carrying uh, megaj or uh, whatever the younger one i i know this yeah so uh, hats off it is salutations from my side and from all of us to them to these great and each one of them who is serving the armed forces right right great so you know today i mean now i mean we are on the concluding part of the session i am sure it has been very very enriching so before i conclude kanu agarwal i mean uh, would you like to help because i think you'll be the right person at this point of time so people have asked that what are the various entries for girls in armed forces so if you can throw some light on it yeah uh, there are numerous entries i will just within a very very short span of time because baki sari details hum aapke sath waise bhi share kar denge पर आपको मोटे तौर पर बताते हैं तो ट्वेल्थ के बाद पहले कोई एंट्री नहीं थी वुमेन के लिए एनडीए की एंट्री खुलने से आफ्टर क्लास ट्वेल्थ यू कैन ज्वाइन नेशनल डिफेंस अकेडमी प्रीमियर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वंडरफुल यू कैन विजिट द एनडीए वेबसाइट यू कैन विजिट द एज अकेडमी वेबसाइट ओनली पॉइंट टू रिमेंबर इज द एंट्री डज नॉट डिफ्रेंशिएट लाइक द बुलेट डज नॉट डिफ्रेंशिएट द वेपन डज नॉट डिफ्रेंशिएट बिटवीन मेन एंड वुमेन द एंट्री ऑल्सो डज नॉट डिफ्रेंशिएट बिटवीन मेन एंड वुमेन यानी कि कोई लीवे कोई आप सोचें कि मैं लड़की हूं तो मेरे को मेरे थोड़े से स्टैंडर्ड्स फिजिकल ऑब्स्टिकल कोर्स में माइनर वो है बाकी कहीं पर एंट्री लेवल पे इनफैक्ट इनफैक्ट इट इज टफर फॉर ए वुमेन टू ज्वाइन एज कंपेयर टू दैन और इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ द नंबर एंड वेरियस अदर रीजन सो इट इज मोर चैलेंजिंग रिमेंबर दैट सो पहली एंट्री हो गई एनडीए की अब हम चलते हैं ग्रेजुएशन लेवल पे अच्छा ये सब एंट्रीज को हम जब एनडीए की बारहवीं के बाद बोल रहे हैं तो एक्चुअली प्रिपरेशन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम क्लास इलेवन के बाद ट्वेल्थ के बाद तो आपको ज्वाइन करना है तो ट्वेल्थ में जब होते हैं ट्वेल्थ अपियरिंग जब ट्वेल्थ में दैट वन ईयर यू हैव टू अपियर यू हैव टू फिलअप द फॉर्म यू हैव टू गो एंड गिव यूर यूपीएससी एग्जाम यू हैव टू गो फॉर एस एस बी एंड यू हैव टू गेट मेडिकली सिलेक्ट फेट एंड देन फाइनल द मेरिट लिस्ट तो आपका जो सिलेक्शन प्रोसेस है वो तकरीबन एक साल पहले शुरू हो इसी तरीके से ग्रेजुएशन लेवल पर ग्रेजुएशन लेवल पर एयरफोर्स में एफ कैट एंट्रीज होती हैं, आई नेट एंट्रीज होती हैं, एक कंबाइंड डिफेंस सर्विसेज आर्मी ने भी एयरफोर्स की वो कंबाइंड ठीक है तो आर्मी में ओटीए में जाते हैं एयरफोर्स अकेडमी और तो ग्रेजुएशन लेवल पे एंट्रीज होती है फिर जो लड़कियां बी करते हैं उनकी एक एस एस टेक एंट्री होती है यानी कि शॉर्ट सर्विस कमीशन ऑफिसर होते हैं लेकिन टेक्निकल एंट्री होती है तो ये होती है ग्रेजुएशन लेवल के बाद इट इज ए वे ऑफ लाइफ हर तरीके से आप ज्वाइन कर सकते हैं आप एज ए मेडिकल ज्वाइन कर सकते हैं आप नॉन मेडिकल हैं तो मेडिकल वाले तो पहले से ही करते आए आप सबको पता होगा कि हमारे देश में पांच फोर स्टार जनरल फोर स्टार लेवल की महिलाएं बन चुकी हैं लेफ्टिनेंट जनरल तीन आर्मी में बनी है और एडमिरल uh, uh, तीन आर्मी में और पांच टोटल आर्मी ने एक एयरफोर्स में और एक नेवी में टोटल पांच बन चुकी है फोर थ्री स्टार सॉरी नॉट फोर स्टार थ्री स्टार करेक्शन आई स्टैंड करेक्टेड टेरिटोरियल आर्मी पर टेरिटोरियल आर्मी बहुत बाद में है ना बट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट आई थिंक दीज आर द एंट्रीज और अगर इनकी डिटेल्स चाहिए किस एज में और कब जाना है पीपल कैन कॉन्टेक्ट अस वी लीव द नंबर ऑफ लिंक्स एंड अदर थिंग्स एंड कॉन्टेक्ट डिटेल्स जो जो इंटरेस्टेड हैं और मेजर भावना ने शेयर भी किया है ज्वाइन इंडियन आर्मी डॉट एन आई सी डॉट आई एन पे भी जा सकते हैं तो ये डिटेल्स अवेलेबल है क्लैरिफिकेशन के लिए प्लीज कॉन्टेक्ट अस विदाउट डाउट आई विन राइट थैंक यू सो मच सर नाउ यू नो आई मीन Uh, the the discussion has been so enriching in fact a couple of things in, in fact even i got to know so as a school leader and i think we are going to benefit many others and all the school leaders those who are present over here those who have spared time uh, pradeep sir had to leave for another meeting because there's a uh, uh, the cbsc exams have been announced and it, uh, he holds a lot of response he had already informed us so now before we conclude today's session today's talk uh, i would request all three officers to give one one message uh from your side what would be your message so uh, we can start again in the same sequence probably i mean okay. maybe an uh yeah ma'am my message to all the young um, girls or big boys is never ever put gender in front 
like if you're joining army air force navy or any profession for the better you are you are joining at your own will with your own wishes so never uh, ever ask any privileges ki just because i'm a girl i am having periods or i am female never ever ask you believe me your men your troops your team will respect you more because of your caliber because of your uh, uh, because of your output with the team without any gender discrimination because when you take any perks and privileges you never say ki sir mujhe kam de dijiye because i am a female i was uh, not doing this believe me in every part of military duty even in night 2 o'clock 3 o'clock i was with my men and always my men respected more than male officers because they knew bhavna ma'am hai nothing doing she will not leave us jab tak kaam khatam nahi hoga pura kaam legi khich ke lengi or yes they used to salute me and respect me this till they remember as far as one question ma'am i didn't ask about the beauty ma'am mm-hmm. if you can remember i was uh, oic echs quota yes. uh, just 5 years back after retirement um th- uh, four years back five years back i was sitting in polyclinic and there was a old couple they walked up to my office mujhe jo word sunne ko mila main sabko sunana chahungi ek aurat ne ghungat kiya hua tha usne dekha ki us kursi pe ek mahila uh, lady baithi hai jis pe hamesha koi gents baithta tha usne ghungat ko upar uthaya dekha aur usne bola lugai baithi hai aur wo aage chali gayi aur fir dobara mud ke dekhne aayi ki kaun baithi hai fir usne meri taraf dekha main kaam kar rahi thi maine upar apna dekha aur main gayi piche piche maine kaha excuse me main aapki kya madad kar sakti hu to unke husband ne bola ki ye aapse itna prabhavit hui ki yahan pe koi aurat mahila adhikari is kursi pe baithi hai jis pe itne saalon se hamesha ek aadmi hi baitha raha hai that means a retired male officer and ma'am another uh, incident is after uh, uh, six months or seven months there was a couple sitting in front of me i offered them a cup of tea i thought thakke aaye hain kisi दूसरे डिस्ट्रिक्ट से आते थे बहुत दूर दूर से आते थे आप भी जानते हैं सो दे आस्ट मी धीरे से बेटी आपकी शादी हो गई क्या <laughs> मेरी हंसी छूट गई और मेरा पीएन मेरे पास खड़ा होकर फोटो कॉपी कर रहा था और मैंने पूछा क्यों माता जी कहते हैं हम अपने लड़के के लिए बहू देख रहे हैं मेरी भी हंसी नहीं रुकी मेरे पीएन की भी नहीं रुकी और मैंने उसी टाइम अपने हस्बैंड को थोड़ी देर के बाद कॉल किया कि मेरे लिए रिश्ता आ गया है एंड ही टोल्ड मी प्लीज गो अड मेरा भी पीछा छूटेगा राइट सो प्लीज योर ब्यूटी रिमेन्स विद यू यस सो योर ब्यूटी रिमेन्स विद यू इट नेवर स्पर्स it's beauty is inside a woman right so never ever think mera skin tan ho jayega mere baal aise ho jayenge nothing you are a soldier be with your soldiers be always a soldier be a fighter you know whether you are air force navy army immaterial of that like you are now in education department sapna ma'am yeah. i salute you because you are doing wonderful job you, you never ever say ki i am a female or i am a mother never. i will not do this you are also doing a fantastic job so uh, young boys and girls never ever bring gender in between and go ahead with your dreams whether you join army air force navy or any services go ahead live your dream you live your life only once right, right. so live it to the fullest that is my message to all of you thank right. you so much thank ma'am. you thank you so inspiring page bhavna come on be prabhada i strongly feel that in any organization be it armed forces or anywhere whenever a lady enters that organization there may be initial inhibitions but if they know that you mean business you know in and out you have the knowledge about the particular job the task which has been assigned to you and you give clear cut instructions you know what is the value of that particular task and you tell it very clearly to your team slowly and steadily that trust will be built up and they will not think is chori ko kya pata hai Mm-hmm. they have some people have this mindset i'm not denying this is there in any organization any organization but again go with that clear mindset just to tell you uh, when i was uh, posted in a command and uh, my admiral he had by virtue of you know luck i would say there were only female officers and uh, one day there was a letter which had come that give status input about your man part and my admiral proudly says i don't have man power i have only female power <laughs> so i would say it's all about your mindset give a girl the right shoes and she can conquer the world great super such an inspiring message i mean uh, there's so much to learn uh, from all of you today okay squad leader vibhuti mangal what is your message please yeah, um I, so i would just like to conclude by quoting uh, one of my experiences so before this entry was open to uh, you know ndas and there is this debate going on to put women in the combat roles so armed forces had done a um, 
you can say it was a test project for the combat assault training. So I'm the only uh, woman officer who had uh, trained for that because I was the first person to volunteer. And uh, even being in armed forces, I had been told that it is not for you because uh, there were like some 60 odd people with five male officers and uh, 55 troops. And I was the one person who was fighting that I want to do it because I had been so good. Even my academy, I had been topper in sports and shooting and all. So I have to do it. So uh, you have to understand that at every phase, you might face barriers and difficulties. But if you are clear in your goal. So I went ahead and obviously there was a little confusion that this team is madam ki hai, thoda mushkil hoga, and there are four other teams were being uh, and in four teams maybe there were two two male officers because I was single. So it was a test project and you won't believe we had never uh, we had always come like first or second. So I was given special uh, uh, salutation that madam ka team itna acha kar hai. and when it came to the final presentation, I was chosen as the best fighter to lead the combat into the uh, practice test scenario. So I can tell you that that was a wonderful test project which has completed. And after that, this combat assault training is being included. So you can do it. Apart from that, uh, there are opportunities wherein you can explore that uh, being in service. I have done my uh, paragliding skydiving course. I have done mountaineering and I have uh, been awarded as best shooter multiple times and led my uh, command team as a captain, all male, one female. So like I'll again quote the weapon and machine, they do not recognize gender, right? So if you believe you can do it. And uh, I will just end uh, by quoting four lines, which I keep on saying when people demotivate me, it's like, um, uh, Teri raah maine roki nahi, right? Teri raah maine कि तेरी राह मैंने रोकी नहीं मेरी मंजिल तुझसे अलग है कहीं यूं ना डर अभी से मुसाफिर मेरी फितरत तुझे समझ नहीं आई है सो ऑल द बेस्ट टू ऑल द गर्ल्स आउट एंड आई रियली विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट इफ देयर इज एनी प्रॉब्लम प्लीज रीच आउट टू अस वी वुड लव टू हेल्प यू इन गेटिंग इनटू द यूनिफॉर्म इट वाज अ वंडरफुल सेशन विद यू ऑल थैंक यू मैम थैंक यू सर राइट सो बिफोर वी एंड आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट इन केस यू वांट टू शेयर कमांडर प्रभा लाल दो यू हैव बीन शेयरिंग योर social media handles so that you know uh, the participants those who wish to get connected with you so you yes. can share it in the chat box and uh, uh, I'll, I'll take it in person also from you though i have it and then we'll put it in the description box if you allow so that is it kanal agarwal your i know i yeah. just yes sir your yes. message yeah. okay uh, message main kya dunga aaj aaj to message lene ka time aa gaya hai time has come that uh, the message is loud and clear from all the women we have arrived. Okay. The message is from males. Humko ye message samaj mein aana chahiye. Sena mein, Vayu Sena mein, Nau Sena mein aur Desh mein that women have arrived and for the women of course, I, my, with my experience I can always say that do not limit your capabilities. It is for you. The time has come to explore, to fly, to swim, to run and achieve new heights. Your time is here now. Do not lose even a second. Join armed forces and do your do the nation proud, do your family proud, and do yourself proud. That is my message to everyone. Jain. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So with this, I mean, I'll also put my concluding remarks, a couple of learnings for all of us. Um, I think, uh, you know, as an educator, I mean, Pavna uh, ma'am brought it to, in front of everybody. Yes. So as a school leader, I mean, I probably left no stone unturned to do the work. In fact, in my 22 years of career, I think apart from some, some emergencies, two, three, four days of emergency, I've never ever taken leave. So I was always present during my work. Uh, and uh, so my, my people used to ask me that I said there are so many chutis in the, the education field that I don't really need to. I can manage my work uh, in those chutis and all. So it is all over here in your mind. And uh, Yes, be it any field, but yes, I could not join armed forces. Luckily, I am uh, part of uh, the better half of the armed force uniform. So that is why I feel lucky enough. I think a lot of privileges, a lot of perks uh, of being an army of survivors. So, and what to say if you are an officer in the uniform. So with this, I would really thank uh, all the participants who uh, have uh, listened to it. And I, I saw so many chats and people asking so many questions, even from Pradeep sir. So he had to leave. 
the social uh, media handles are over here and we'll share it in the description box when we put this on youtube and uh, thank you so much the uh, such an esteemed panel um, thank you uh, for enlightening the audience i'm sure such like things are going to take a uh, lot of motivation to a lot of hearts so thank you so much to all of you major bhavna commander prabhalal thank you so Vigil much ma'am ma ma and salute you thank you so much and jai to everyone you, and jai to all the wonderful ladies thank you sir you, jai thank sir. you for this uh, opportunity to motivate the young minds thank you so much thank you so if you allow me can i end the meeting now sure ma'am right thank you thank yes. you everyone ma'am god bless you all bye bye jai hind jai hind jai